I'm Beth Fisher right now on your 13 Action News update. Two YouTubers from the Netherlands were arrested for trespassing on a high security test site near Area 51. Yesterday, police found a car parked at a gate near the site. In a jailhouse interview, Govert Sweep says he believes his status as a YouTuber is the reason he hasn't been released from jail yet. Sweep and another man, Ties Granzier, were both arrested. Police say they both speak English, read English, and saw the no trespassing signs. No word yet when they'll be released. Tonight, a vigil will be held at Desert Horizons Park for the 19-year-old woman who was found dead in a van. We have pictures now of Paula Davis. She was shot by her ex-boyfriend, who's a UNLV graduate student. He left her body in a van at Desert Horizons Park last Friday. The vigil will start at 7. Her funeral is Saturday. The Southern Nevada Health District confirms the first case of vaping-related illness in Nevada. The patient is under the age of 18 and was hospitalized with respiratory issues, possibly linked to e-cigarette products. The patent has been released. The, uh, the patient, I should say, has been released, and the, uh, they are recovering now out of the hospital. Justin? Beth, the heat is on for the rest of the week. Temperatures actually this morning away from this trip briefly dropped down into the 60s in some neighborhoods, but a quick jump through the 70s. We're back in the mid 80s before the lunch hour and all afternoon. We're looking at low and middle 90s. Plenty of sunshine today. 94 the forecast in Las Vegas, 91 in Summerlin, 93 in Pahrump. Even more intense heat, close to 100 on Friday. Uh, should hit 102 Saturday, 101 on Sunday. Pretty calm the next few days, but by the end of the weekend, Beth, it'll be a bit brief. All right, Justin, thanks. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com, our KTNV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.